56,000 Malians have taken refuge in Burkina Faso, having fled the fighting that began in Mali in mid-January. They are living in makeshift shelters in camps where the sun beats down relentlessly and where aid is severely lacking. It's been two and a half months now since the first refugees started arriving in Burkina Faso and the UN agencies are being slow in their response, particularly the World Food Programme, which is struggling to distribute food to the refugees. A shortage of shelter and food, and where the situation is made worse by the lack of water that weakens the refugees further. Hospitality from the local Burkina population has been severely tested. The Sahel region where the refugees have settled has been hard hit by the lack of rainfall. The harvest has suffered and water levels are at an all-time low. The very poor living conditions encourage the spread of disease. The MSF teams working in the camps have observed many cases of respiratory infection, skin disorders and gastric illnesses that are all symptoms of poor sanitation. MSF is in Chad to treat children for malnutrition as soon as signs of the disease appear. Teams opened a paediatric program in the Yao district at the end of March. The rate of acute malnutrition in the region can reach as high as 20%. Around 60 patients have been admitted and more than 90% of them have nutrition-related disorders. MSF has set up an inpatient facility to treat children suffering from complications. The teams are also doing outreach work through health centres and in the villages. They screen for cases of severe malnutrition and distribute a ready-to-use therapeutic food to malnourished children. You have to remember that the population is very spread out in this area, so accessibility is an issue. That's why we developed the new strategy of distributing the therapeutic food on a monthly rather than weekly basis, like we do in other places. During their visits to the villages, the teams also organize pediatric clinics and vaccinate the children, particularly against measles. <laughs> More and more people continue to arrive. Fighting across the border in Sudan has forced these families to seek refuge in South Sudan. Everything is in short supply, including access to water. Water is a problem. There's not enough water. When you go to the well, you have to wait a long time. You go in the morning and you have to stay the whole day. There's not enough water. MSF is working in both of these camps, supplying drinking water as well as drugs and health care. Does your son have diarrhea? Yes, and a rash. And he hasn't been eating properly for five days. For the humanitarian organizations, the situation is urgent. The aid needs to reach the refugees before the start of the rainy season. Roads will become impassable, making it even more difficult to access the refugees. In January 2012, 50 women from villages across the northwest Central African Republic came to an MSF hospital in Bogila. 17-year-old Awa was one of them. She developed a fistula two years ago during the birth of her first child. I came here because my bladder was torn so the doctors could cure my sickness. MSF sent a message to the chief of my village and he told me I could come here for treatment. Fistula can be avoided, but it requires skilled birth attendants and care during delivery. Over two million women suffer from fistula worldwide, most of them in Africa. An MSF surgeon goes from hospital to hospital offering surgical treatment to these women. After three weeks of convalescence, they can return to a normal life. 